In this video, we're talking about the nomenclature of what are called oxoacids. So what is an oxoacid? Well, first of all, an acid is a compound whose formula begins with the element hydrogen, H. You will always will see the formula, for us anyway, starting with H. And that's how you know when you look at the formula that a compound is an acid. And in an acid, the rest of the molecule after the hydrogen will be an anion and it can be either a monatomic anion or a polyatomic anion. If the anion is a polyatomic anion, and it's one of those that contains oxygen, then it is what we call an oxoacid. Get it? Oxo for oxygen. And to say the name of the, of the acid, then what we're going to do is we're going to change the ending of the anion to either A-T-E or I-T-E. When we do that, we're going to say the name of the polyatomic ion, changing its ending. So if, if it ends in A-T-E, it goes to I-C. If it ends in I-T-E, it goes to O-U-S. A goes to ick, I goes to us. And then all you do is you say the word acid. So for example, down here. HNO3, okay, we know this is an acid because it starts with hydrogen. And so we look at the rest, all the rest of the compound is going to be the anion. NO3, and this again, this is where it becomes important to recognize polyatomic ions. This is one of those polyatomic ions in that chart I showed you. And it's NO3 with a negative one charge. And its name is nitrate. So ATE goes to IC. So we call it, we take the AT off. Replace with the IC, just say nitric, say the word acid, and we're done. All easy as that. Now, if you're going any the other way, if you're looking at a name and trying to write the formula, well, the name of every acid already has, always has the word acid in it. And that's kind of a pretty big clue. So again, it starts with hydrogen. It's, that's, then it's an acid. Look at the rest of the molecule. If it's a polyatomic ion, if it can, and that contains oxygen, then it's an oxoacid. So find the name of that polyatomic ion, and it will end in either A-T-E or I-T-E. Change A-T-E to I-C, A-T-E -T -E to I-C, I-T-E to O-U-S. Say that, and then say the word acid, and you're done. That's all there is to it. So for example here, it starts with hydrogen. Now this two, this is two, okay, so in acids, the hydrogens have a plus one charge, and just treat them as a cation, really. And because the rest of the, the molecule, the anion, is SO3, which is called sulfite, and it has a negative two charge, we had to have two hydrogens, each, each with a plus one charge, to balance the, the negative charges with positive charges, just like before. That's, that's why the two's here. But we don't say that in the name. It, it's, it, it's already in the name. So it's, it's an acid because it starts with hydrogen. The rest of the compound is a polyatomic ion called sulfite. And so we take the A-T-E and make it O-U-S. Now, polyatomic ions that contain sulfur and phosphorus are, are a little bit different. With sulfur and phosphorus, you put the, with sulfur, you put the U-R back on before you change the ending. With phosphorus, you put the O-R back on. So instead of just beca becoming sulfus, we say sulfurous, but then say the word acid, and we're done. Now, if we're going the other way, going from the name to the formula, we look at the word acid, so we know it's an acid. This ends in IC, so we change the ICE, IC back to ATE, and it becomes bromate. And again, this is where it's really useful to know your polyatomic ions. This is one of those eight other polyatomic ions I showed you before. Bromate, it ends up as the name for BRO3 with a negative one charge. So what you do is for every negative charge, you just put one hydrogen in front. Because each hydrogen has a plus one charge, if this were a two negative, we put two H2. If there were three negative, we put H3. But this is just one negative, so we put one H, and it's HBRO3. That's the formula for bromic acid.